You're listening to Catalyst Church World Harvest Ministry Podcast, transforming lives and influencing the marketplace, campus, community, and the next generation. It's a wonderful time this morning, and I'm going to go directly to what I'm about to share tonight. And I just sense that this, in the next five months, as a church, God is going to do something amazing. Do you believe that? Something amazing. So let's pray. As we listen to your word, O oh Lord, I pray that you just open our hearts one more time so we can understand what it is that you want to speak to us. That your word become, becomes, Lord God, a, a, a light upon our paths, Lord, guiding us, leading us. Holy Spirit, it is by your power, it is by your anointing that we understand your word. Faith comes from hearing and hearing your word. And I pray that as we listen tonight, that we would hear what it is that you want to communicate to us. We will not just hear some sounds, some information, but we will be able to God, be empowered and receive some substance from you tonight. Lord, receive an anointing from you tonight. Anointing for us to experience the blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. We looked at last week how when we are aligned to God's will, it is then that we can ask for a daily dose of miracle. Matthew chapter 6 suggests that when Jesus taught his disciples how to pray, he said, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. In other words, the very first thing that we should be asking God when we pray, the very first thing that we should be desiring when we come to God is to be in alignment with His will. The moment we are in alignment to His will, it automatically automatically follows that we can ask for our daily bread. A lot of people, they wonder how, God, where's the blessing? And they say, Lord, where's the breakthrough? Lord, where's the miracle? Where's your touch? Where's your anointing? Lord, where is the, 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 uh, the promotion that I have been praying? But then the question is, have you been walking in alignment to God's will? Ay natang sa ginoo. But in the first place, we're never aligned sa iya. That's just the very first thing that God wants to speak to us. Ang pinakanindot nga kinabuhi, mo ang kinabuhi nga nalinya sa kabubuton sa ginoo. Because it is only the life that is in alignment with the will of God that can experience on a day-to-day basis His hand, His touch, a dose of a miracle. I believe that as a church, I believe we are entering a season of breakthrough. Two days ago, or nights ago rather, we had a, 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 a uh, meeting with, an, um, just an initial meeting with the leaders, and um, we were we were so encouraged as I just listened to God and said, Lord, what's my direction now in the next five months? And I realized God is communicating, communicating to us and telling us that the moment he gives a word, he will never fail in keeping that word. He is faithful on his side of the bargain. And this year, 2019, as in our backdrop, is a year of divine momentum. And we're thinking, asaman ang momentum, Lord. We're thinking, Lord, asaman ang breakthrough. It's coming our way. It's just that we have to understand that it takes faith para ma-activate ni siyang tanan. And as we grow in maturity, realize it takes the Holy Spirit, it takes our, the spiritual nature in us to understand spiritual stuff. It takes the Spirit of God for us to understand the Spirit of God. Mura na siya ang radyo. All over this room, there are lots of frequencies. But unless you have a receiver tuned in to that frequency, 
98.7 or so mga frequencies na na. Alright? Until it is tuned into the specific frequency, you are not able to decipher, to decode kung saan na naglutaw sa kahanginan. But you, when you uh, tweak it to hit the right frequency, kung saan sa istorya, kung saan sa mga signals, they have electromagnetic waves, muagi sa decoder, muagi sa kung saan na circuit, sa radio frequency, and all these things. Kalimot ako. And so, it decodes siya. It translates siya into electric signals mo dapat sa speaker o sibuk-sibuk ang speaker just like the voice that I'm speaking right now mo dapat sa system at madungan na itong malikod. The same is true with us. God is speaking. God is always bringing out the word. It is His desire that as we are in alignment with His will we can ask for a daily bread. The question is are we able to decode it? Physically, and with our carnal minds, with our meaning flesh lang na to, at ang own understanding, <coughs> kung English lang, kung Bisaya lang, or Tagalog lang, dili na siya. Because that's not the language of the Holy Spirit. The language of the Holy Spirit is the unction. It is the impression that you receive that even beyond all the odds that are against you, you can believe. Why? Because spiritual things are interpreted spiritually. You're able to understand what I'm sharing because it's a language that we all know, we all share, maybe Sibuano, Messiah, <coughs> maybe in English. But then when the Spirit of God speaks, masabda na na to kung abri atong kasing-kasi. Obviously, the devil wants to stop us. And so, I am confident as I am able to hear from the Lord as we grow in maturity. There will be a level of multiplication na magpag-abot sa simbahan. A level of ministry and a level of mission. That's why, I want to share God's word tonight as I share this morning. Are you ready? As a person next to you, are you ready? Can you hear it? Can you sense it? Let's pause for a while. Can you hear that? Come on, can you feel that? Yes. It's getting louder. It's getting louder. And it's not the sound. So that's the gawas. The gawas, ba? How many name of the pastor is the sound of the heavy rain? If you are able to hear that, Physically, this sound, you would automatically feel something. And I don't know about you when you hear this sound, probably. When you, you can associate this sound with Putlan. And some of you probably have downloaded this app, Meditation app. You are going to sleep. Imagine. There are one sheep. Two sheep. Three sheep. I haven't downloaded any of them. But probably some of these applications that you hear and you can hear this sound. Thank you so much for the sound effects. You hear it. Probably it can bring about a melancholic feeling. <laughs> Well, whatever that is, there's also a notion in Scripture that when there is rain, there is blessing. There is a sound of a heavy rain. There is the sound of a heavy rain. If you feel like it hasn't rained for a long time, you're going through seasons of barrenness, seasons of emptiness, you felt dry, and a you feel like, Lord, dugay naman kayo, huwag ko ka tumog sa inyo ha, perhaps. Or dugay naman kayo, huwag ko ka smile. Dugay naman kayo, you know, huwag ko na ka tulog, huwag ka na straight, rabi tau. When was the last time? So, dugay na kayo, huwag ka na nakatog, huwag ka na nakatog, huwag ka na nakamata ko, huwag ka na ko. Usually, Lord, matuog ko karoon, tagalauna naman. Ano yun na magkamata, huwag ka na stress. 
E po gusto na umanay kung kung ano yung tulog, di mo katulog na, Lord, I want some rest. You may be saying to yourself, you may have noticed your life going through pain, going through dark drought. And as a church, we challenge us, whatever it is that we go through, or we can go through, we have gone through a lot of things, but we continue to go through trials, go through testings. But let me tell you as a church, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It does not change the fact that God is faithful to His Word. It's sa sa And what I mean by that, it doesn't matter kung sa kalisod ang iyong situation ko. When I say church, collective body of Christ, we have our challenges. And nobody would know that we would have this challenge or that problem because we don't act the part. Tanawa ka na yung tapat, kanindol sa makeup, mura lang may problema. <laughs> We don't go around and beg and feel sorry of ourselves. Why? It's the faith of God that is in us. If you have Jesus Christ in your life, you don't go about panicking. You don't go about worrying. You don't go about and, and thinking of getting that rope. You don't go about those mindless things. But nonetheless, it does affect us sometimes. But sa pagkatinood lang, the moment we hear the sound, that there is a sound of a heavy rain, it will keep us in the game. It will keep us in the game. And even if it takes purging, if it takes pruning, if it takes cleansing, even if it takes weeding out, Ang ginawang mubuhan siya. Kukul sa iangay buhaton para mabot ang atong, ang atong mga ginampo. God will remove things from us. He will let us go through fire even. And we are there so many challenges that somehow He will allow to mabot sa itong mga ginapuhin. Even if it takes all those things to bring us to our knees, to bring us the point of humility, holy Lord, I need you. I can't do this on my own. Bring it on. Because the most important thing is I know God will see us through. Tabangan dito sa Ginoo. And so, we're looking at, and let me bring you to a familiar story. <coughs> Obviously, in the book of 1 Kings. Story of Elijah. And together, we're going to discover what it takes for us what it takes for divine momentum to come to us. In 1 Kings chapter 17, Unas Tanad verse 1, there's this context of the story. Elijah, who was, who was from Teshbi in Gilead, told King Ahab, As surely as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, the God I serve, there will be no dew or rain during the next few years until I keep the word. Muna say, Hinungdan. Walay ulan. Bisan umu. Ingon si Elijah. Until I say the word. Ignan siya sino. Igna akong mga katawan. Apparently, God's people have been living in rebellion. They are out of sin with God. They have been worshipping idols. God is no longer their priority. They have distanced themselves away from God. They have cut off not just you know, and intentionally, but intentionally rejected the God of Israel, the God who parted the Red Sea, the God who gave manna every single day, say Lahat, the God who saved them from many enemies, from the Jebusites, the Hittites, the parasites, the Guban They have literally rejected God. And in context, how many of us and how many of those, apparently those who call themselves Christian and are expecting for some rain, but yet have detached themselves from the Lord? Sometimes intentionally. Sometimes we feel the guilt and so we come once in a while. But even when we come once in a while, our heart is far removed from it. You see, this is the place of blessing. This is the place of rain. As when Jesus taught us how to pray, 
Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done here as it is in heaven. Give us it is here that there is daily bread. Na adri sa presensya sa gino. Na asa pandung sa gino. And when we come off that, God doesn't seem to curse us. It is not in God's nature to curse. But we are inflicting curse on ourselves. Sabda na to. Kita mismo ang nagdaas tunglo. Kita ang nagdaas sa tangan. Kita'y nagdala sa panulay. Mga itong kinaboy mo rin tabaghak. Maglaglog kayo nga mga. Kaya nga tabaghak kang dako. Pag wala nang sabdan, gamina rin ka ba doon sa ulit sa natabaghak? Kisa doon na sultin ako sa natabaghak? O mga buong tabaghak? Hindi na'y tabaghak. Kaya tabaghak ka ng kahit kayo nga. Kung sa'yo tabaghak, karang murang sakto na, huwag pulos. Nahimong tabaghak ang atong ginabuhi. Nahimong dry, nahimong empty, nahimong barren. And I don't mean to say, what I want that. You can have that so much here. I don't mean to say, what can I live now? There's so much fun here. So much activity that can entertain us. But emptiness within, that vacuum within, no, no problem. And so we always look back. The moment you have Jesus in your life, and you depart from that source, you start to wither. Mura na lang siyang tanong. Akong ibutun, pag ibut, ana, kung mula daw lutaw, ugat sa kahanginan, dili na automatic malaya. Simot-simuto ni muna, humot, ihapo na. Tanaw ni muna, prisko, ihapo na. After a few hours, just a few hours, we we'll start to wither from the inside out. It's just a matter of hours, ang tanaw malaya. Whereas kita, survive pa. Isa pag-tuig, isa pag-duha ka-tuig, tulo ka-tuig. But it's just a matter of time, ma-realize na ito. And here is the same scenario. You have wondered, you have rebelled. And so this is what God is saying, no rain. God's people have been living in rebellion. And so <clears throat> drought followed, <clears throat> makita na ito sa story. Miraculously, because Elijah is walking in the will of God, he was being, he was fed by ravens, mga langgam, mga kakaon sa ilaha, sa ilaha. And uh, even that poor widow, <clears throat> diri na nang kita ang widow sa ripat, kay Warlin na uh, naka, ano nang yapon siya? Uh, Nagkakaon siya, kasi muna-muna na sa widow, katapusang siya kay sa amang, yung hihatag ang Elijah. Elijah asked for it, and miraculously, God provided for the widow. And so, <clears throat> kita na to. And verse 18, chapter 18, 1 to 2. And here's the context after the three years, no? You know, later on, in the third year of the drought, it has been three years. Or lagwa. Mas pasakit ba na hon? Realize niyo mo, three years naman na ikumuhay sa masimba. Or probably three years naman na ikumuhay ang po-apo. Or probably, well, not in this context, but somehow it feels like it feels like dugay na kayo. And so later on in the third year of the drought, the Lord said to Elijah, "Go present yourself to Ahab, to King Ahab. Tell him that I will soon send the rain." So Elijah went to appear before Ahab. Meanwhile, the famine had become very severe in Samaria. God will not. God will not have himself hostage by us. No. Di, pwede ang ginoo nga <clears throat> atong i-hostage ngayon no, na itong uh, Sige Lord, di ka magpanatuan, kato ba di ay? Ha? Matay ko, di mong sala. <laughs> Actually, there's no need for that. God is so merciful. He sees us from afar, wintering, weakening, struggling, and he's always the first one to reach out. Always. Dili gahil kasi kasi ngayon ginoong ngayon, dili si parihas na to. Unang hindi taronta sa ng friends. 
You have been invited tonight. It's because God is reaching out to you. Or perhaps, is that pag nagsimba na ka, every single time, but it will just be a revelation to you. However, it comes to you. God's invitation comes to you. It will always come in a with the attitude that you will realize, if not for God's mercy, ang butong asa po. So kung saan na itong palayo, sa gino, sa kung saan na itong rebuild sa gino, there will always be that thug in our soul. There's always be that knocking on the door of our hearts and saying, my son, my child, I've been longing to pour out my rain upon your life, but you have to do something. Are you ready to learn these principles? Tanawa na to. And I'm there, um, quickly, we're gonna look at keys for God's divine momentum. But before that, apparently, we'll look at the story. Some of you might not have heard of the story, but it's a very familiar story. We keep reading this at the mga devotions. When Ahab saw him, he exclaimed, So is it really you, you troublemaker, Mishael? Ingo si Elijah, ang agugutawa na yung masulod. Have made no trouble for Israel. You, ikaw, imong pamilya, are the troublemakers. For you have refused to obey the commands of the Lord and have worshipped the images of Baal instead. <clears throat> now, summon all Israel to join me at Mount Carmel, along with 450 prophets of Baal and 400 prophets of Asherah, who are supported by Jezebel. So Ahab summoned all the people of Israel, and they moved. Tapok na sa mga Carmel, kay nasa sila yun siya. Ako na ang mga prophets, may behalog na Asherah. So nasa sila dito. And then Elijah stood in front of them and he said, How much longer will you humble, will you waver, humbling between two opinions? Magklarohain ka. Ang yun na namin ang astorya. Sikabantay mo, why one? And this is the result. Because the palayo, the sigino, taruhon tani, sigidao, postaan na ita. Di naman kita mapinasaan na, pero postaan na ita. If the Lord is God, follow Him. But if Baal is God, then follow Him. But the people were completely silent. Then Elijah said to them, I am the only one prophet of the Lord is left, but Baal has 450 prophets. Now bring two bulls, the prophets of Baal may choose whichever one they wish and cut it in pieces and lay it on the wood of their altar but without setting fire to it. Ay nagkutin. Ako po, I will prepare, okay, I will prepare the other bull and lay it on the wood of the altar but I will not set fire to it. Then call on the name of your, the name of your God. And I will call on the name of the Lord, the God who answers by setting fire to the wood, is the true God. Unsaman, o iyan mo na, ustaan ay ka. And they all agree. That's a fair game. Now, now na to, sinay na po. Then Elijah said to the prophets of Baal, Sige, kamayo na, daghanan mo. Partida ba? Kailan mo na, ikikyo mo na. I said, Can you go first? Again, no. Choose one of the bulls and prepare it and call on the name of your God, but do not set fire to the wood. So they prepared one of the bulls and placed it on the altar. Then they called on the name of Baal from morning until noon time, shouting, Oh, Baal, answer us. Send the fire. But there was no reply of any kind. They danced, hobbling around the altar they had made. On noon time, yun si Elijah, sa panaliha, o ang panaliha. Ansa naman, masikwangan pag sa'yo, makarela. Come on, he was mocking them. You'll have to shout louder, he scoffed. For surely he is a god. Perhaps he's daydreaming. Perhaps he's relieving himself. Tawag ang ayun, kapas yung nangihihin yung ginoo. Atong ka na, ansa naman, ha? Rabi ka tiyaw, no? And he said, or maybe he's away on a trip. Basik ng bakasyon. Or he's asleep and needs to be awakened. So they shouted louder. Sula, ingay ka eh. They shouted louder. They cut themselves with knives and swords until the blood gushed out. They raved all afternoon until the time of the evening sacrifice. 
but still there was no sound, no reply, no response. Then Elijah called to the people, come over here. Let me show you how it's done. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. He may, he always makes sure. Always make sure. And in all the circumstances, at the end of the day, and so it said here, come over here. They all crowded around him as he repaired the altar of the Lord that had been torn down. He took 12 stones, one to represent each of the tribes of Israel, and he used the stones to rebuild the altar in the name of the Lord. Then he dug a trench around the altar, large enough to hold about three gallons. He piled the wood on the altar. Imagine this. He cut the bull into pieces, and he laid the pieces on the wood. Sacrifice man. Okay. Then he said, Fill four large jars with water. Okay. Some mineral water sa balay. Iyapo, pour the water over the offering and the wood. After they had done this, he said, do the same thing again. And when they were finished, he said, do it the third time. So they did as he said, and the water ran around the altar and even filled the trench. Now it does not connect, this does not sound logical. Kilisud-lisud pa hinuho ni Elijah. Masao nga, mukalayo ng kaha. Dapat nga ka mukalayo para mo daog. Kato pagkahal mga prophets ni Beal, siguro maramakin siya mga mga ugang nga Ha da hot siguro to ilang ibutang bukod sa mga they want to make sure it's combustible materials by some flu by some circumstance ko na mo galing bisag gamay nga kitlat maigo ang ilang altar siga dayon but Elijah amazingly and we can learn something here gibasa pa hinuon ay sabi gibasa dilang kausa kay duha katulo until ang kanal-kanal na puno o tubig. Let me pause for a while and tell you something. Maybe you feel like isang basaan na ganyan mo, buwa na ganyan, imposible na yun tayo, mamilagruhan pa sa ginoon, o na ganahan sa ginoon, kanalisod na ganyan sitwasyon, and you call out to him. At the usual time for offering, the evening sacrifice, Elijah the prophet walked up to the altar and he prayed, O oh Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, prove today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant. Prove that I have done all this at your command. O oh Lord, answer me. Answer me so these people will know that you, O oh Lord, are God and that you have brought them back to yourself. Immediately, fire of the Lord flashed down from heaven and burned up a young bull. The wood, the stones, and the dust it even licked up all the water in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell face down on the ground and they cried out, The Lord, He is God. Yes, the Lord is God. And this is word. And we're going to derive these principles. The first key for God's divine momentum. We take it from that scripture that we read. Ang pinakauna sa tanan. Stop blaming God for what's happening in your life. Stop blaming people for what's happening in your life. Makita na to. Si, si Ahab, pasumangin lang niya. Si Elijah. And obviously, indirectly, ang ginoo. But the first thing we need to understand is we need to realign. If you want God's divine momentum, realign your heart to God. Kita ang modul sa ginoo. Kung uga na kay atong ibate, kung kapoy na kaayong, notice, ang ginawala kayo ng palayo sa ito. And however you claim, magbasa mo po sa kong Bible, pastor, ako po. Nagampo ako po sa ako po. Na probably, si Simba magbukada doon ko. 
Aku kali ke wali kada dua minggu. I mean, we couldn't find fault with God. Apparently, it takes humility. Apparently, hinahanglan lang tayong mapaubos. When we're feeling that drought, when we're feeling dryness, when we're feeling emptiness, it's never God's fault. And God would even not say, ikaw na, imog yun ang sala, imog sala, imog na kong sala. That's not also the, the kind of tone na gusto sa gino. Because sometimes, God wants, simply just wants to teach us to trust Him. The feeling na to say, wa man ta nagpalayo. But there's things that we don't understand. But He knows better than us. There are things He does not have to tell us. There are things, just like what we looked at the other week. He was testing Philip. Philip, where can we get all the bread to feed all these people? Automatic si Philip, ah, isunod na kayo na nun, isunod na kayo sitwasyon, wapay ay Julius 3, sa sirno, usta ko na lang gino, hasta ang imposible kayo, and yan na na na, daga na kayo kaglita niya, daga na kayo kagyaw niyo, daga na kayo istorya, daga na kayo kagreklamo. Kung ka nang atong gireklamo, ka nang atong gihilap, kung ka nang atong gikakuol, kung atong lang girealay na itong kasikasi, yun yun na nga, Lord, you know, ikaw yun na sayo, you know. Lord, I hope I'm not going to be limited. This next couple of months, I don't claim to know everything. I don't claim to know the method and the strategy. But this I know. Kung sa isa at sa ginoo sa itong mga kinabuhi, iyan ang buhaton. Kung una sa tanan, i-realign na itong kasing-kasing sa iyan. Amen. As a church, aghag mga damo ang ginoo sa ito. There's so many. And as church individually, matag-usa, ay saan ang ginosin mo. Tignan mo tapad, ay saan ang ginosin mo. <coughs> Tumanong sa ginoo ang iyong saan. Hindi siya manglimbong. Pili ka niya, kuhaan. It's not a taker. It's a giver. As when I say na siya saan, o biyahan ang gustong tumanon, there's only one limiting factor. That is us. God has never been the issue. Difficulties has never been an issue with God. Gamay na problema, dako na problema, parehas na lang sa gino. Pag problema ka, Lord, wag ko'y kwarta, pinay mong problema, 10,000. That's indeed the problem. Whereas may gino mo sa Lord, dako kay kong problema, Bila mo problema, 50,000. Tumbang nga sa gino, asay mas na kong problema, 10,000 ang 50,000. Para sa toa, mas na kong problema ang 50,000. Pero katong ng problema, may why 10,000? Bago tanon, na kay 10,000, wala. Wala. Na kay 50,000, wala. Wala. Pariharang man na yung wala. Pero ang gino, na yung 10,000, na yung 50,000, na yung di sa noon sa kanaan, niya na pwede i-provide sa toa. Wala nang matter. It doesn't matter. The amount doesn't matter. The circumstance that does, does not matter. The level of difficulty doesn't matter because He is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. The same God is faithful. We just have to realign our hearts to Him. Sharing to you apparently, not just theoretically speaking, experientially speaking, We can all attest at some point God has been so faithful and He will never stop now. But ayun siya mahi mong faithful. Amen? I-realign na ito itong kasing-kasing sa ginoo. In what manner man na ito, ma-realign na itong kasing-kasing sa ginoo. Itong mga priorities. The Bible says, Seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Pray like this, Father, may your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. And then you can ask for the daily bread. Kung unahon na ito ang gino, that's why we read our Bibles, that's why we grow in maturity. That's why we seek after God's heart. Because it's only then that when we realign our hearts to God, dili tatupahan o mga kabalaka o mga kagool. Though it's very normal, it's a daily battle. But then there's God's daily grace, there's daily provision. Amen. How many of you are eager for some rain sa inyong kinamuhi? Sugda na ito by realigning our hearts to God. Secondly, they call on the name of God. 
Aw gani nga sa mong Ginoo. Aw guna ko ang ama, aw guna ko ang ako ang Ginoo. The God who answers by setting fire to the wood is the true God. Diri pa lang na ang iklaro ni Elijah. Iklaro niya, sige. This is what I love about this this text right here. <clears throat> this is some kind of very personal to me because I have vowed saan ko sa pong kaugalingon and you've heard me say this so many times wala pa'y nangalagad sa ginoo ngayang yung pasagdan as I share it a couple of times already there was a moment in my life wherein I have to listen intently kung sa gimaing direction sa kinabuhin Apparently, being the breadwinner of family, I have to, I have to work. And by God's grace, the human ko as an engineer, even when I had the license and so fully qualified, God would not see it fit na manarbaho ko, because deep inside me is that calling to become a pastor. And this is not the kind of church. For this is not the church na ako pastoran at that time, it was from scratch. As in, magsugod. That's the word of God. Yesus niya sa ginusuno, magsugod. From scratch. As in, that takes lots of understanding God's will. But then I really struggled hard. But then I said to myself, Sige Lord, gumawin niyo mong kabubuton. I certainly put fleeces out, signs, Lord, gumawin niyo mong kabubuton, mo ni mo na. And God sent so many signs, so many confirmations. God would use people, God would use pastors, God would use circumstance. I would be, um, I would be accepted to some telecommunication industries in the Philippines, being globe, being smart, and uh, being student 23, bisa konsa na lang. And then apparently there's always a hiccup in the in the to begin with or in the end. And then I was in Studio 23, but then there's this line of managerial concerns, and so na freeze hiring, wala na padayo na kong ino ako ang wala employment. And then I was assigned to to smart telecommunications in Osamis. I was hired here in Cebu because I applied here in Cebu. I was um, um, assigned to Osamis, but even before I could get to start. I already know my compensation schemes. It's be had money, 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 money. I'm so happy. I said to the Lord, Lord, thank you. I can serve you. Nga na sa iligan na lang. Ako si Kasi na sa iligan. Kaya akong crush na sa iligan. What am I doing here in Cebu? And so I said, Lord, yes, di pa yung usamis. Doon lang kaya sa iligan. Di assign us usamis. Kaya doon lang sa akong hometown. And the manager in the Visayas region said, Engineer Xiao, you're gonna be assigned. Apparently, your choice, Mindanao, Cebu. And before I even said the word, Mindanao, I said, Ito lang ka sa Osamis. Doon na sa inyo, ma'am. I was so amazed. But even before I could get to start, Naigira sa Mindanao. There was a time, year 2000, Naigira sa Mindanao, there's an upheaval and all that. And wala na dayon. Ano ang akong trabaho? Ako mga bargada na nasa in Cebu, nasa in Manila, so good na sila. You can just imagine all those wild. And this, this is God speaking behind the scenes. And I need to say, Lord, what's among you? Fast forward the story. I said to myself, Lord, that your will be done in my life. And people started to call me crazy. My aunts, friends, they would not understand. What is there to understand? You're just like throwing away years. Ano ni Squila pa magkat ng pastor? Ng pastor, ng pastor radi ay ka. That's the usual term that I would be getting. Ano ni Squila pa magkat? Ng pastor Rahman di ay ka. They have underestimated the calling. And true enough, there's nothing to look forward to. I don't know anybody. I don't know it could get this big, but I, I am sure it's not about getting big. It's about obeying the will of God. Yes. I said, Lord, kao bahala. And at some point in my life, ginulan ko siyong angkol, nihilas akong atubangan, ang panahubog, akong angkol, 
Ang marumbado na kong angkol, niya di kahadlukan na mong permaminti, gumoy, mamunar, gumoy, mga sakba, halos patanta din dugan. Angkol nga nagpadako sa kuwang. Partly, he felt so sorry sa mong situation siya. Tul, yamyo ko niya. Tul, pwede man siguro kong mga lagal sa ginoon na nakasabroon. Pwede man siguro kaya mo nabisit one year lang, two years lang. I was already pastoring the church for three or four years at that time. I already have Jay John and I think JV. Uh, Jay, JV, sorry. Una mga JV, no? I think I already have JV and Jay John. And my uncle said that to me. Because knowing that ako ba na kung makikagaw, even that year, six digits ang ilang mga swindo. And not to brag, modesty aside, kani mga bata, kani kong mga magbuha kung makikagaw, dari magpatudlo sa mga kerchup slow. KCL, KBL, nanana, nanana, sa mungka eh. And then they're getting these six digits. And it will get to you somehow. But di ba ni Musay? So mga nito na sa mga mustisya ni. At ako nito na labas yun doon. So, so moved at the time. My brothers, my siblings. My mom was very, is always polite. She would not pressure me. But makita ni mo ang paginahang lanon. But my brothers, kulang na lang tawag ko nila buguan ni Mui. One of them said, in dismay, somehow, they just couldn't utter the word, pero makita na ko sa ilang mga dagoy. I have to meet my family, I said, John, here. O sa kanangkol. Sina, sinias, interpret ni, ni, uh, ni Jeffrey, sa kung sa kanangkol. Ibo sa ilang ha, this is what, basically what I said. If the Lord is God, He will send fire. I don't mind not having that. I don't mind. I know it's tough. I know it does not look the part. I know for a glissot tuhan. Let me tell you this. It's not about me. It's about you. If you are walking in the will of God, a lot of times, for a glissot katuuhan, manaasay buhaton ng milagro. It seems like kung naata dali, chasing after this dream, chasing after that, and so we can have parties, and we can have all this, you know, lots of fireworks in our lives. That sounds fun. And there are many, you know, some, it doesn't have to be sinful para may munta na out of sync na sa gino. We can do so much here, not necessarily sinful, but not in the will of God. We can do so many things such as building a house, building a career, getting this car, getting that. That's not sinful. And I'm not even saying na dili na siya maayo. Nintot ka, ayaw na tanan. But don't get your heart so desirous of those things. We just have to seek God. That's what Elijah was telling the people. Sa sige ninyong paninguha, anang mga mutanga, natayo ninyong kasing-kasing. Prophets of Baal, Asherah, layo na nyo kasing kasi sa gino. Sige, tingwa. Karun, we don't worship Baal, we don't worship, and we don't have Asherah poles. We don't worship God or whatsoever. But we are so enamored with worldly things. And our hearts can be so far from the Lord. And you know what? God will continue to test our hearts. Even up to this time. It's not a one-time decision na dipili na ako ang gino. It has to be a daily decision. And so, I've realized this to be true. If you want God's reign to fall upon your life, first and foremost, realign your heart to God. Ikat ko hapag to acknowledge God's power. Not your mind, not your power here, not your abilities here. My cousins, they have all this and they have all that. I just said, I serve a God who can set fire on my life, who can bring promotion in my life. Ang wina ng my son, John, in watch my life. I will not predict ngayon lang kinabuhin maglisod. I don't wish that. But if they will continue, this 
is exactly the words I told my brothers. And I could remember this vividly in my mind, in my heart right now. I don't wish that I But I said, Tayo rin right two years, tayo rin right three years. God will set fire on our lives. And you know what? It's only by the grace of God. Among balays mo yan ay hindi rin ito simple lang. O na yung grabe nga kalinaw, na yung grabe nga kalipay. Ako nga mga mamaligya alam ihapon, aman ka ron, magluto-luto, karinderya, hindi karinderya nga na yung tindahan. Kanang ano lang, shock lang. Make shift, himo-himo lang na mong mga may nani yung nana. Pero grabe ang mga silingan, muntumo sa pingbings halo-halo. <laughs> pingbings, pizza pie, puto pie, uh, impanata ni pingbing. Uh, yan ang ikan ang impanata ni pantul, ang mga kaon magpuntul-puntul. Yan ako nakuha ang, san, ang lana sa akong mama. <laughs> ang mama, morang ihamun. Ako nga yung gagaw na abroad ng 60 jeans karon ron. Iha kang mama kanunay mga yun. Hindi ka hiliyo. Sumangin lang. Pliti, ante, ulang po ane, sunan, utang, way bayan-bayan. Yan, my mama is very generous. Kapahan na itong ginawa na. Acknowledge God's power. Acknowledge God's power. Kung maninood rin ito sa ginawa, it's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Kaya siya magun ang pinuod. Amen. Thirdly, and so we read, no, imbis nga, makita na ito nga pasayunon, ipalisod na hinuon, ibasa na hinuon. And that is, sometimes we feel like, Lord, kung ganos ako na hinuon, yes, faithful na hinuon. Kapila na ko na si Pastor, si Kibito, si Kuali, Lord, na faithful na faithful na rin ako. Pero kung ganos ako na faithful, hasta ni sabot man hinuon, kalisod. Ingon divine momentum. Asa may momentum man eh. Imbis na increasing in speed, it's decreasing. Instead of acceleration, how sa naman is going reverse. How many of you are feeling that? And that is exactly the point God is making. That's exactly the point. Because if the fate of Israel is in the hands of a young boy, see David. And if his opponent is also a young boy, nasi kamay po na gulayat. As ako magpinisin na si David ng si gulayat, waray ba ni? Kay kamay ng bata kontra kamay ng bata. What glory? Where's the glory in that? Where's God's power in that? Dili makita. You see, it has to be dramatic. Yes. You know, God is never too early nor too late. He's always on time. Can I become pugma na ang bayro nun? Ay, wapapitay ka kwarta na ron? Dramatic entrance. <laughs> But I don't suggest the kind of life. I'm sure God would arrange it nga. Mauna na po, itong plaster na to, itong mga budgets and all that. But if it comes to that, it doesn't matter. Because you see, God would allow circumstances na murag lisod kayo, na murag kung gusto na to, karun na, karun na. But these things happen so that when the rain comes, we, it's well appreciated. Kada makainod na, Hallelujah! <laughs> and all these hardships, all these troubles, all these struggles will only cause and allow us to increase our faith. Amen. That na is always important. Before God could bring out the rain, before God's divine momentum would come, unas na na dapat atong kasikasing na realign dia sa iya. Dapat atong gi-recognize na siya lang. Let's not humble between two opinions. Kung nag-faithful ka sa kinuukaroon, ayaw hunong padayon ng faithful. 
pila ba sa mga himungaan na ilang gilumluman ng ilang iglo? Gilumluman. First day, second day, pila ka adlaw ako sa iglo? Ba yung kilono? Mas pila mo ng balot niya ay kapagawal. Anyways, <laughs> kung manok magaling, that's the same. I just say, 21 days, lumluman, lumluman. Dili pwede, lumluman, lumluman lang na niya. Kung gano'n sa sikanahan, it has to be kept in a right atmosphere. Kaya kung iya ng biyaan, di na niya lumluman, ikapay tiuno na unta, ihunungan niya sa kansyutso, di ka nisipin, tabogong ang itlo. Wala na nga kayo mga aborted dreams. Aborted promises sa ginoo. Wala niya mo because wala to gilingkuran. Ginoo, ginoo, yun. Nag-faithful naman gulong na ka. Oh? Ito ba yung nabaya ka sa edad na may chiko nagtuog yapon ka sa perfect one sa ginoo? Karoon nga ba yung disayas ka? Karoon panahon ka, muingon ka? Ay bahaga na nang kabubuton sa ginoo. Ito kayo magkayo. <laughs> Karoon pa hinuon? Nagkanan na ginoo na. Ipatubo ko mong gano'n sa ginutaman mga buti spirit tree. Kadali magkakalayang class pa manaroon. Probably. Amen? Acknowledge guys, ginuura lagi. Ayaw. Lord, kanang, kung ipangayos yung mga Lord, kanang, um, mahalag lagong mong Lord, basta. <laughs> Anak lang kong, pero basta kayo sinawon, Lord. Kung makatingog ko lang yun, kung sa'yo mong ibangay lang, bako ka mo. Kung mas sinawon, lakong mo, pero sinawon, mo lang bako ka. Grabe, ako ba, kung makadescribe sa ilang God's will, mo lang naman yung kulang na lang mong kita kakanigod, Lord. Manipulation naman na. Tignan ko na, Lord, that your will be done. At by the way, Lord, kung hindi ka na yun. Kung natin. Lord, kung naamang gali ba, may top 3, Lord. Ano ang mga ito, top 3? Sinara mo ko sa akin lang, sama, sama kayo mong gusto, takay kong sabi may ano. Di ba, ang chuy, parang mong tulog, kala ka na, ano na namin ito? Mungta na sa, sa, no, sa restaurant na may mga minnow boards. So, kinuto kayo, minnow. Or better yet, So, do not have all choose to acknowledge God's power. Align mo kasi kasi. And then, you acknowledge yung mga power sa ginoon. And then you increase your faith. Because mo, excited ka. Maka 22, 23, 24. What if? 21 soon. Lord, akit ang birthday. Birthday gift, Lord. Birthday gift, Lord. What if? Sinala na ko sa bayan. Mapapot ka sa kung ano na na alert mo na buti ka lang sa land of no return. You just have those moments mo increase at ang faith. Amen. Many stories like that in scripture. David and Goliath, Gideon and the armies na naghan tayo. Even Moses and the Red Sea. Kaya naman press pinaw ka ng Diyos sa'yo. Kaya naman milagro na niyo. Kinahanglan na dyan pinaw ka ng milagro. Kaya pinagis niyo mong kabaligon. Mga di pinaw ka niyo kaya. Mau na yung ampay sa ginoo. Kaya naman lang ka sa tumoy. Kaya naman. Di naman ang pick up yung malisglas yan. Lastly, and before that, I want to share the item. Because this is my objective tonight. For us to understand. For us to believe. Na daghan o mga buhato ng Ginoo sa to as a church this year. We're creating an atmosphere of miracles, realigning our hearts to God. Mona nga, there's so many things that we are believing. I casted the vision. We're gonna raise some funds for our van. Pag mo nato nga van. Amen. How many of you believe na si Kia, Kia for the past 20 years have served us faithfully? Recently, we gave her a decent This is a decent Korean. Thank you for all the services that you have done to us. It's time that we get a new facility. Magamit na to sa to mga naghakot. Amen.
And then as a church, we're also raising some funds. Apparently, we are believing that this year, as much as this is already a challenge, this, this is the point. Challenge na galing, dugangan pa mong challenge, but that's how God operates. We don't set our benchmark according to our past achievements. We set our benchmark according to the plan of God. And the plan of God is so many. It's multitudes. As we said, pag nagkalisod na, kung apa, and by the grace of God, makaabang, makaabang, but we're going that near the face wherein, Lord, you have to do a miracle. Wala na gino. But yet we're dreaming that we could knock this wall down this year because 1,000 is coming. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. 1,000 is coming. At the moment, we have 50, 55 centimeters and we are rallying everyone here. If you're in SL1, SL2, SL3, if you've been with us, if you've been in trainings, and there's a lot of things that we're gonna do. We're gonna invade campuses. We're gonna invade house to house. We're gonna invade the marketplace. Because that is the will of God. If you want to be in the will of God, these are the things. It's not about the activities, it's about the heart of God. <clears throat> That's why I said to myself, I'll keep living this way. I'll keep serving you, Lord. And yes, by the way, Lord, I also do this. I also, no, Lord, napugoy negosyo, Lord, napugoy career, Lord, napugoy familia. And you can say, God knows that. But then, Lord, tuuhan lang yun ako, increase lang yun ako mong faith. Lord, this year, kanito yung jugo na yung magayo. And amazing things will happen. And then lastly, <clears throat> we just pray the simple prayer, Oh Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, prove today that you are God in Israel and that I am your servant. Prove that I have done all this at your command. Kana a prayer is less than one minute. It's a prayer that is sincere. That is a prayer coming from his heart. It's a prayer that is consistent with the will of God. Prove today. Lately, I have been receiving this from the Lord. All my prayers have been, Lord, use us as a showcase of your blessing. Lord, use us. Amahimu, you know, masterpiece. And when the world sees the situation and the promotion you would give us, they would be amazed. And it all starts with us if we are to pray for God's reign, to realign our hearts to God. To acknowledge na siya lang ang gabhanan. It all takes for us to increase our faith and to never stop praying. Never stop praying. Next Sunday, we're gonna launch and commission our prayer, prayer of three, a strategy. For the next 30 days, we are gonna be praying, not just mornings, at the center right now, as will be announced in a while, my morning prayers, but the place could not accommodate all of us. So we're opening up slots, an evening slot. And so you're all invited to come and pray with us. Isan mo po ang mga pag-ampo. For that one hour, we worship and we pray. God is going to do amazing things. Amen. Amen. And I believe God is about to pour out His rain. Look at that. His rain will come. These are God's key ingredients or components for His divine momentum. Come on, let's be standing to our feet. Oh God, I'm happy for you. Tonight, I want us to dream. And probably you sense, you sense this, I've sensed this in my life. No, nga murag, ni increase ang challenges, ni increase ang pain, despite the fact that you have been serving Him, despite the fact that murag Lord, nag faithful man ko sa imuha. Come on, there is rain. There is a sound of a heavy rain. Would you bow your heads for a while and just start to say to God, Lord, I will no longer doubt you. I will no longer huckle between two opinions. Don't have a plan B. I have a plan B. Kung dili, 
Hindi ni mahitabo sa Ginoo dahil kaniya akong buhat nun. God no other God does not want us to have any other option. And God does not want to make him our first option. And then, if it doesn't work, ato ta sa lain. Pwede ba kaha? Sahay, God is our last option. Ayan na tamo doon sa iya ha. Kung walang wala na ta. Tonight, come on. Come on, surrender your cares to the Lord. Even in increasing trials and pain. Know this. When God chooses to pour out His power, your circumstances does not matter. Bisa kung sa panakalisod. Bisa pag muraglisod na kayo. Walang nasa. It's just creating an atmosphere for the miraculous. Kanang lisod kayo na sitwasyon. Kanang buka na kayo. Kanang astang lisuda na yun kayo. Kanya, ginugangan pa yun. Namasa pa pa kayo. Masa na kayo ka sa discouragement. Masa na kayo ka sa, sa loneliness and disappointments. Murag walang-wala na yun. That is a moment where God can best show His glory. Kanang walang-wala na yun. It's always during that time. And now on scripture, all throughout scripture, Peter was fishing. Sama sa tong kita na The other day. And they were empty. They came home empty. Was sila yung kuha. And God is attracted by emptiness. The, the, the Israelites are faced with this giant. And God's power is activated. And all scripture, it is when we are to the last And when we feel like we are cornered, na hindi mo mamuhan sa itong kinabuhi. Come on, come on. Pray to the Lord right now and say, God, I surrender. Lord, bring your rain, bring your rain. Just worship Him. Just worship Him. Pour out, pour out. option apart from your will. And Lord, I will not worry about my situation right now. Yes, listen, Kayo. I will not worry. Come on, you do that and I will pray. And God's fire, God's rain will come upon your life. Lord, we realign our hearts to you. Forgive us for worrying. Lord, today we acknowledge it's only your will, your way, Lord. Lord, hindi na mo entertain ang mga pamaagi. Hindi na mo entertain ang mga option na malayo bilihan sa iyo. God, give us faith 
increase our faith. Even in the midst of troubles, in the, even in the midst of challenges, Lord, thank you. Thank you. Our faith is growing. And our faith is in you. Come on, lift our hands to heaven. Father, I pray. In the same manner that Elijah prayed, Lord, we are here right now. Basta piginoong daghan ng mga sitwasyon ng among ginatubang. Lord, the devil has been lying to so many of us. So we can think that there's no hope. That Lord, you could not help us. But that is a lie. And I declare in the name of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus, for every curse, that is assigned every demonic spirit and influence that is assigned to each one of your people be destroyed, be cast down every imagination that exalts itself from the knowledge of Jesus Christ we come against it right now in Jesus name and I declare your miracles upon us I declare your mighty provision of grace to be upon each one of us and declare for your reign to come Oh, we receive it. We receive it. Come on, receive it tonight. We receive it. Come on, come on. Because you are. It's not because we are good. But Lord, it's because you are always good. We receive our portion tonight. We're excited for the next five months as a church. And Lord, our prayer is that you will be glorified. Lord, in all these things, Makita sa kaniputan ay ikaw ra ang And as we have served you, and as we will continue to serve you, you will be highlighted, and the world will see it is your doing, Lord. It's not because of us. So we give you all the honor and the glory in Jesus' name. Everybody said, Thank you for listening to Catalyst Church Podcast. For more updates, like us on Facebook at Catalyst Church Cebu or visit our website at catalystchurch.ph.